This is Team Super Adventure Club. We're about to take off for Denali. In this here, Cessna 185. All of our gear is loaded up in the back. It's pretty jam packed. It's pretty stoked. I'm very excited. I too am very excited. Nervous. I'm excited. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous because I'm badass. I'm, I'm excited. It's the morning of day three. Kirk and I are at 7,800 feet. Hello. It's Kirk over there. Hi. We uh, have cached 9,600 and we're about to take off with all of our gear. Or most of our gear. Okay. Having coffee. The sun's coming up. There's Denali right there. The weather, the weather looks okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, where, where are you at, man? Huh? I'm at 11,200 feet under now. Oh, yeah. You just have to go for a little ski? It's our camp. That's Bill. That's Casey right there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They're going to be our uh, our backup safety. <laughs> They're going to dig us out if we fall in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you have to leave the charge? No. <laughs> I kind of, I'll film you two then. Alright, um, are we trying to go kind of to the right here? Yeah, that looks like a fun place. A little bit steeper at least. Sure. There you go. And it is. Alright. Let's tear it up. Ow! Make it good. You're on film. It's day 10. Kirk and I are at 14,500 feet. We've been in the tent for... 14,200 feet. 14,200 feet. Been in the tent for two and a half days now, about. Yeah. A mighty storm has come in. Um, we've been rocked with 50 mile per hour winds or above. Night temperatures have been below minus 20. We're running out of food and fuel because it's cached back at Windy Corner. But we haven't had the opportunity to go get it because the weather's been so bad. But, uh, yeah. We've just been reading a lot of books, drinking a lot of coffee, playing some games. Playing some games. Got cribbage over there in that corner. That's pretty stinky right now. It smells like a dying animal. Yeah. It's pretty bad. The Saturday night though. The view outside is it's pretty white. It's our snow wall. Yep. Yeah. Still white as balls. I'll check in in a few days. Go with Fox Trot 15. Fox Trot 15. Nothing, nothing there.
It's like a mountain goat. <laughs> kind of mountain goatish. So, that is Hunter right over that rock there. Forker with high winds coming off the top of it. Dogs, you want to take a That is the West Buttress, which we are not going up today because of high winds. And that is the West Rib. With very high winds coming off the top. And that is Kirk. It's Carl down there. Dan. Killa. And Britt. Cool little camera you got there. Yes, it's called the Contour. Looks like it fits right in your hand. I wonder why they call it the Contour. It's, uh, it's the grip. Yes, sir. Oh, nothing. <laughs> so we're moving today to 17-2. Yes, Carl, Dan, and Britt about to take off. We're about to leave our sweet camp. Kirk is reluctant to leave. Uh, we got big packs on. Hopefully we'll make it to 17 -2. This mountain is like a pump. It sucks away like sucking water. Let's start over. This mountain is like a pump. Instead of sucking water, it sucks away your soul. Kirk, can you just climb ten years of your life away? Tell me, how do you feel? <laughs> Interesting. Be honest. This is for posterity. So I'm at seventeen thousand two hundred feet. This is what people look like at 17,200 feet. That's so pretty ragged. Pretty ragged. Pretty something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. feet. Just about to get on the final ridge. Kirk's chilling there. Just for perspective, that is Mount Forker and Mount Hunter far below us. <laughs> yeah. That's some of exhausted, but soaked. One right there. Pretty yep. soaked. Yep. Long way down. Two two seven two. That's That's good enough. That's two thirty, man. Okay.
Yeah, you have sunglasses on. Yeah, but trust me, you can't see anything in these pictures. No, yeah. well, you have to put it. You have to put it on the up close, like that. Or uh, uh, macro. You, you have to put it on the uh, um, smaller. I don't know how to. Quinn, would you ski this? No. Come on. You got no. Glad I didn't bring my skis. And I'm going to stick whiskey in my... 